Hello everyone. In this lecture, we are going to see ASME, Section 8, Division 1, Effect of Hydro Test Pressure on a Point at Discontinuity, Stress Relieving. We have all these courses available on our Thinkific platform. To learn more about these courses, register with the link given in the description. So now we are going to discuss how Hydro is relieving the local stresses. Okay. So when we talk about section eight, division one, we even does not talk about local stresses. Okay. Does that mean that there are no local stresses? Or suddenly that all the localized stresses which appear in division two are not there in division one? Is that what we mean? Because we never discuss about local stresses in division one. What do you guys think? See, we never talk about localized stresses, right? In Section 8, Division 1. Only a little bit is discussed in 23D. Apart from that, we never do anything. So what does that mean? Does that mean that in Section 8, Division 1, there are no localized stresses? It's there. Okay. Then why? Why we don't talk about that? And how we take care of that? So you may say that because that is the reason we consider high factor of safety. Okay, that might be the one reason. Now you let us further elaborate, then it will all start making sense. Okay. Great. Now this is a typical diagram. Okay, let us try to understand that first. Now this is a shell. The blue color which you see, that is a shell. And there is a nozzle connected to that shell. Okay, very simple diagram. Don't worry about whales and all. Okay. Now there are two points. So there is a point A, which is quite away from this nozzle. So we can call it as away from any discontinuity, right? Nozzle is a kind of discontinuity. So there is a point A, which is quite away from a discontinuity. Okay. Now, let us coming to the next interesting point, which is point B. Now, this is a point at discontinuity. Okay. So, now the statement which I made for the point A that when I am pressurizing that vessel, vessel at design pressure, the point A will reach to a S value stress, which is equal to the allowable stress. Can I make the same statement for point B that it will reach to a stress level S, which is equal to allowable stress? Can I make the same statement about point B, guys? Point A, we know we have used the formula. We have calculated the stresses here, right? We have all done that. So we can, we know the how the stresses are there. Do I know the stresses which are there at this point, at the corner? Have I calculated? No. But I can see that it is a very discontinuity and it feels like, you no, know, it feels like, you no, know, there, see, this is just an example where one point I have taken. There may be multiple points like this. And these points are where there is a discontinuity. Okay. And so this also can be called as stress raisers. Why they are called stress reserve? Because they are here, the, because of the geometry, the stresses are more. See, so these are the stress reserves. So yeah, sharp is Samir, exactly. So these are the stress reserves. So stress is supposed to be more, okay? In the points where we have, uh, we are very close to discontinuity, okay? So now let us try to figure out the same stress strain diagram for point B. Now let us try to draw the stress strain diagram for point B. Yield, we know allowable stress. Okay. Now we are at point O. Okay. So we are starting. So what we have done? Uh, we have created a grid kind of structure. It will denote the deformation. Okay. The elongation which is going to happen in each and every point, right? So whatever you see the matrix here, that is representing the shape and 
size of you know we have tried to create a node kind of thing you know, which you see in ANSYS okay so at this point this is the geometry which you see here okay and the black color is point B and there are other points which are away from discontinuity and we'll talk about that these are in elastic zone okay so you can consider that now so i started hydro okay so when i started hydro i am going to the 86 percent of weld for normal points so do you expect that points like this may reach to yield much earlier than the point a like you know points which are having at point a locations or the locations which we, we are in elastic zone right? away from discontinuity do you feel the these kind of points because so normal points which are seeing the design pressure that is reaching up to 86 okay so any stress reserves definitely they will be little higher okay so there may be point which having much much more stresses so they will reach the point p very early and point p is what point p is the yield point okay so now if we consider completely elastic plastic model you know to simplify the case elastic plastic model means it will be either completely elastic or completely plastic that is the elastic plastic normal scenario behave, how material behaves it will be like this you know slightly it will be elastic zone slightly plastic so it will maintain a curve what we are doing for simplification let us make it a complete stress straight okay so elastic and then completely plastic okay so if it has reached the point p much earlier so if i keep on increasing the pressure to reach up to hydro after this how it will behave in which direction it will go after this in which direction it will go whether it will follow this direction or it will follow this direction plastic second case right everybody is there with the second case because it is a completely elastic completely plastic model so after the elastic zone is over till it, now it will deform completely plastically clear everyone clear up to this point we have not finished just we are at the next point making sense great 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 yes so now see this is the diagram for point b so all the points have become little larger because they have deformed but they are well within the elastic okay, now this point b p it has deformed more because it is seeing stresses which is much higher than these okay so what will happen to the next point when it is going from p to q it is completely plastically deformed that means the stress will not vary but stress is increased strain is increasing there is no increase in stress but strain is increasing means it is getting plastically deformed and this is what whether it is a permanent distortion or elastic deformation distortion what it is whether it is permanent because all the plastic deformation are permanent so it has permanently deformed from coming from p to q great now what is next what is next if i am going beyond that now i have applied the pressure and i have hold it for some time now i am releasing the pressure okay so q to r represent when the pressure is released but still it is not released completely still some pressure is there okay so actually if you see the, all the other elastic points are still at this level 
the elastic points point like a it is still at this point that means still some pressure is there by that time the pressure will be completely released for point like b because it is seeing this path now it is following this path now okay so from q to r you can see slightly the size is you know, slightly more than point o but less than point at q and so they are coming back okay so they are all the other points which are elastic zone they are coming back to their shape okay now what will happen from next round from r to s see this point has seen or come to its neutral position that point which has deformed because now this is its neutral position because it has permanently deformed so earlier if the size was 1 mm now its size has become 10 mm and that is its normal size now okay but do i have space for so much length can it occupy so much length from where that space will come because all the points which are still in elastic zone they are trying to come back to their position they are trying to come back to their po original position original size so there is no extra space left so what will be done then in the next stage when they are coming back to original position they will compress it compress the permanently deformed point b to go back to its original position now this position what what type of stresses will be this here in this point b there will be residual compressive stress there will be compressive stress the point will be in a compressive stress position when all the other points have come to zero stress level there is no stress strain in any other points which have not permanently deformed they are following this graph so they are stress strain they came back to zero but this point which has deformed now its original size has become more but it does not have space to maintain its shape because all the other points wants to come back to this position okay is it making sense guys yes so majority of the pressure vessel points are like that they are in elastic zone so they will go there and come back to its original position they have not permanently deformed so whatever initial dimension what dimension was they will be it will be there at the end of the cycle okay now what about this what if there was one point which is very very small compared to volume to the large vessel it's very small point it has permanently deformed the size has increased earlier it was 1 mm now because of this permanent deformation it has become 10 mm so when i am releasing the pressure okay so it will follow this path so even though slightly pressure i'm having still it will see no pressure and it will come back to its neutral position here okay at this point which is the dimension which is permanently deformed so earlier it was 1 mm now it is 10 mm so this is its new normal but my pressure all other points of pressure vessel they are still pressurized i have not released the complete pressure okay so they are still at okay if it is if the deformed point is here my other points are here this is the stress which is there in the pressure vessel okay so now if they want to come back just see this r to s situation and at s very closely you know this was the starting position of all the points and this is the final position okay but this point is not 
allowing the other points which are the majority to occupy their normal space well samir so they are not allowing what what other points will do they will compress it because they are very high in volume they are they are the majority points right so considering all the points it is a negligible strength so they will come back to their position and they will compress this point to go back to compressive stress zone when there is no stress so this point will remain in a compressive stress okay that is called residual compressive stress which will be there when this point is at zero stress strain point is it making sense now let us build further now what will happen so i have done the hydro okay the hydro is complete now you last what what is the advantage or this disadvantage of taking that point toward you know this zone why the pressure was kept so high so that you know most of the point will go through this process what is the advantage we are getting to understand that let us see the next let us see uh, let us try to imagine that again we are trying to do hydro for the same pressure vessel now what what will happen if i am doing the hydro again same stress strain diagram okay if you see the point b which is in compressive stress you know now let us see see other points we know that it will start again from zero it will go back to the almost 86% it will come back right what about point b now what path those points will follow which have permanently deformed which are in compressive stress they will follow this line right they will start from here and it will go up to q now you see just notice the path there is no permanent distortion it is in complete elastic zone in the next cycle see that i have taken the pressure equal to the hydrostatic test pressure these points were earlier deformed they went to the plastic zone and they permanently deformed but in the next cycle they will follow this path okay so this is not one point which we talked about there are many other many points like that which were at discontinuity okay where the stress reserves are there they will follow this path and the stresses will be relieved for those parts once we complete a one hydrostatic test cycle in the next cycle they will be able to take that much pressure without any deformation isn't it great have you got the concept so all the stress reserves you know which we never calculated the stress value considering that they are local stresses when we do division 2 we'll see that in division 1 we never calculated that local stresses why because we know that in the hydrostatic test cycle many of those stress reserves will be relieved okay and that is the purpose of doing hydro i hope you have understood stress at point b to know about stress at point a click on the video shown on the screen